Chapter 16 And the Lord spake unto Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron, when they offered before the Lord, and died. And the Lord said unto Moses, Speak unto Aaron thy brother, that he come not at all times into the holy place within the Uel, before the mercy seat which is upon the ark, that he die not, for I will appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat. Thus shall Aaron come into the holy place with a young bullock for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering. He shall put on the holy linen coat, and he shall how the linen breeches upon his flesh, and shall be girded with a linen girdle, and with the linen mitre shall he be attired. These are holy garments, therefore shall he wash his flesh in water, and so put them on. And he shall take of the congregation of the children of Israel two kids of the goats for a sin offering, and one ram for a burnt offering. And Aaron shall offer his bullock of the sin offering, which is for himself, and make an atonement for himself, and for his house. And he shall take the two goats, and present them before the Lord at the doria of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Aaron shall cast lots upon the two goats, one lot for the Lord, and the other lot for the scapegoat. And Aaron shall bring the goat fawn which the Lord's lot fell, and offer him for a sin offering. But the goat on which the lot fell to be the scapegoat shall present it ail you before the Lord, make an atonement with him, and to let him go for a scapegoat into the wilderness. And Aaron shall bring the bullock of the sin offering, which is for himself, and shall make an atonement for himself, and for his house, and shall kill the bullock of the sin offering, which is for himself. And he shall take a censer full of burning coals of fire from off the altar before the Lord, and his handies full of sweet incense beaten small, and bring it within the veil. And he shall put the incense upon the fire before the Lord, that the cloud of the incense may cure the mercy sit that is upon the testimony, that he die not. And he shall take of the blood of the bullock, and sprinkle it with his finger upon the mercy seat eastward, and before the mercy sit shall he sprinkle of the blood with his finger suing times. Then shall he kill the goat of the sin offering that is for the people and bring his blood within the uel, and doe with that blood as he did with the blood of the bullock, and sprinkle it upon the mercy seat, and before the mercy seat, and he shall make an atonement for the holy place, because of the uncleanness of the children of Israel, and because of their transgressions in all their sins. And so shall he doe for the tabernacle of the congregation that remaineth among them, in the middest of their uncleanness. And there shall be no man in the tabernacle of the congregation, when he goeth in to make an atonement in the holy place, until he come out, and how made an atonement for himself, and for his household, and for all the congregation of Israel. And he shall go out unto the altar that is before the Lord, and make an atonement for it, and shall take of the blood of the bullock, and of the blood of the goat, and put it upon the horns of the altar round about and he shall sprinkle of the blood upon it with his finger suin times, and cleanse it, and hallow it from the cleanness of the children of Israel. And when he hath made an end of reconciling the holy place, and the tabernacle of the congregation, and the altar, he shall bring the loo goat. And Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the loo goat and confess o'er him all the iniquities of the children of Israel, and all their transgressions in all their sins, putting them upon the head of the goat, and shall send him away by the hand of a fit man into the wilderness. And the goat shall bear upon him all their iniquities, then to a land not inhabited, and he shall let go the goat in the wilderness. And Aaron shall come into the tabernacle of the congregation, and shall put off the linen garments which he put on, when he went into the holy place, and shall loathe them there. And he shall wash his flesh with water in the holy place, and put on his garments, and come forth, and offer his burnt offering, and the burnt offering of the people, and make an atonement for himself, and for the people.
and the fat of the sin offering shall he burn upon the altar. And he that let go the goat for the scapegoat shall wash his clothes and bathe his flesh in water, and afterward come into the camp. And the bullock for the sin offering, and the goat for the sin offering, whose blood was brought in to make atonement in the holy place, shall one carry forth without the camp. And they shall burn in the fire their skins and their flesh, and their down. And he that burneth them shall wash his clothes, and bathe his flesh in water, and afterward he shall come into the camp. And this shall be a statute for your vento you, that in the suant monath, on the tenth day of the monath, ye shall afflict your souls, and do no work at all, whether it be one of your own country, or a stranger that soreneth among you. For on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you, to cleanse you, that ye may be clean from all your sins before the Lord. It shall be a Sabbath of rest unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls by a statute for your, and the priest whom he shall anoint, and whom he shall consecrate to minister in the priest's office in his father's stead, shall make the atonement, and shall put on the linen clothes, you in the holy garments, and he shall make an atonement for the holy sanctuary, and he shall make an atonement for the tabernacle of the congregation, and for the altar, and he shall make an atonement for the priests, and for all the people of the congregation, and this shall be in your lasting statute unto you, to make an atonement for the children of Israel for all their sins once a year. And he did as the Lord commanded Moses. Chapter 17 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron, and unto his sons, and unto all the children of Israel, and say unto them, This is the thing which the Lord hath commanded, saying, what man soever there be of the house of Israel that killeth an ox or lamb or goat in the camp, or that killeth it out of the camp, and bringeth it not unto the dory of the tabernacle of the congregation, to offer an offering unto the Lord before the tabernacle of the Lord, blood shall be imputed unto that man, he hath shed blood, and that man shall be cut off from among his people to the end that the children of Israel may bring their sacrifices which they offer in the open field, you and that they may bring them vento the Lord, vento the dory of the tabernacle of the congregation vento the priest, and offer them for peace offerings vento the Lord. And the priest shall sprinkle the blood upon the altar of the Lord at the dory of the tabernacle of the congregation and burn the fat for a sweet sorv unto the Lord. And they shall no more offer their sacrifices bento duels, after whom they have gone a whoring. This shall be a statute for you of unto them throughout their generations. And thou shalt save unto them, whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers which soren among you, that offereth a burnt offering or sacrifice and bringeth it not unto the dory of the tabernacle of the congregation, to offer it unto the Lord. You and that man shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that soar in among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will you and set my face against that sow that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I how in it to you upon the altar, to make an atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the cell. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, No cell of you shall eat blood, neither shall any stranger that soareneth among you eat blood. And whatsoever man there be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that soren among you, which hunteth and catcheth any beast or fowl that may be eaten, he shall you empower out the blood thereof, and cure it with dust. For it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said then told the children of Israel, Ye shall not eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof, whosoever eateth it, shall cut off. And your cell that eateth that which died of itself, or that which was torn with beasts, 
Whether it be one of your own country or a stranger, he shall both wash his clothes and bathe himself in water, and be clean till the yun, then shall he be clean. But if he wash them not, nor bathe his flesh, then he shall bear his iniquity. Chapter 18 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and save unto them. I am the Lord your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do? And after the doings of land of Canaan whither I bring you, shall ye not do? Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Ye shall do my judgments, and keep mine ordinances, to walk therein. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes, and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall ruin them. I am the Lord. None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to concord their nakedness. I am the Lord. The nakedness of thy father, or the nakedness of thy mother, shalt thou not concor. She is thy mother. Thou shalt not concor her nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife shalt thou not concor. It is thy father's nakedness. The nakedness of thy sister, the daughter of thy father, or daughter of thy mother, whether she be born at home, or born abroad, you in their nakedness thou shalt not concur. The nakedness of thy son's daughter, or of thy daughter's daughter, you in their nakedness thou shalt not concur, for theirs is thine own nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife's daughter begotten of thy father, she is thy sister, thou shalt not whore her nakedness. Thou shalt not whore the nakedness of thy father's sister, she is thy father's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not whore the nakedness of thy mother's sister, for she is thy mother's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not whore the nakedness of thy father's brother, thou shalt not approach to his wife, she is thine aunt. Thou shalt not whore the nakedness of thy daughter-in-law, she is thy son's wife, thou shalt not whore her nakedness. Thou shalt not whore the nakedness of thy brother's wife, it is thy brother's nakedness. Thou shalt not whore the nakedness of a woman and her daughter, neither shalt thou take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter, to fcore her nakedness, for they are her near kinswomen, it is wickedness. Neither shalt thou take a wife to her sister, vex her, fcore her nakedness besides the other, in her lifetime. Also thou shalt not approach fin to a woman to fcore her nakedness, as long as she is put apart for her fleness. Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife, to defile thyself with her. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass a through the fire to Malek. Neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not lie with mankind, as with womankind, it is abomination. Neither shalt thou lie with any beast. To defile thyself therewith, neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down to it is confusion. Defile not you yourselves in any of these things, for in all these the nations are defiled which I cast out before you. And the land is defiled, therefore I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it, and the land itself vomiteth out her inhabitants. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, and shall not commit any of these abominations, neither any of your own nation, nor any stranger that soareneth among you. For all these abominations how the men of the land done, which were before you, and the land is defiled. That the land spew not you out also, when ye defile it, as it spewed out the nations that were before you. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, you and the souls that commit them shall be cut off from among their people. Therefore shall ye keep mine ordinance, that ye commit not any one of these abominable customs which were committed before you, and that ye defile not your salus therein. I am the Lord your God.